Hello everybody, this is HG Shapes here. I'm back with another video. Good afternoon to you. Hope uh, you're doing all right on this uh, Sunday afternoon. So today I have all new products to talk to you about, at least all new to me. And why don't I start by talking about the main attraction here, so to speak, the Blackland Razors Blackbird. This is the machined stainless steel model. They also have a polished version. And this is the 85 millimeter handle. They also have a longer handle. Um, I've been anxious to try this razor for quite some time now. The little shape group that I belong to, there are several members who are a big fan of this razor. And I've definitely wanted to try it out in my sort of quest that I've been having as of late to find the ideal uh, modern but aggressive razor for me. Um, generally, I prefer mild razors. I like vintage razors. But I'm wondering if there is a modern aggressive razor that I could keep in my den as just sort of variety to change things up because I find myself thinking about variety a lot these days. Um, in regards to this razor, I think this is one of the most beautiful razors I've ever seen in person, if not the most beautiful razor. Um, I absolutely love the way it's designed. I, I, I think the angles are very uh, pleasing. They're these um, kind of ridges here in the handle feel a little bit kind of sharp, not sharp, but I feel a little bit rough, I guess, out of the box, but I've found that in use, when you've got slippery hands, fingers, things like that, uh, it's actually proven to be very functional. I love the handle. I love how the handle, I guess I'll just show you, screws in uh, deeper than with uh, most other base plate top caps. You can see how there's a little extra space there so that when you screw in the handle, there's just a little bit of extra sort of security in the way that this assembles. Um, it has just a touch of overhang here, which I think is wonderful because it just lets you hold onto the blade when you're disassembling or assembling or what have you, but not so much that it you know sticks out drastically. And um, it is very efficient, that's for sure. So I'll I'll give you more thoughts on this when we actually get into the shave. Um, next up, I have this Dogwood Handcrafts um, Maggard SHD 30 millimeter fan knot. Um, I picked this up from a friend a while ago, and I've used it before, but I don't think I've done a video with it yet. Uh, the 30 millimeter knot is just absolutely massive, and this is one of the original or one of the first batches of these S of these SHD knots that Maggard um, started selling. And uh, in terms of the pour here, I absolutely love it. Uh, I believe this is one of the John B. pours, and then it was turned into this uh, sort of modified chubby shape by uh, Stephen of Dogwood. Extremely jelly brush, um, perhaps too jelly, but a, I mean, a fantastic brush nonetheless. I'm gonna drop it in some water now. And finally, um, for today's shave, I'm gonna be reviewing Summer Break Soap's Bell Ringer Shaving Soap. Uh, it's been a long time coming now for me to review a, a Summer Break uh, product. Um, Kyle is a friend of mine, and uh, as both of us being teachers in the, you know, in the education world, uh, I'm always happy to support someone like that. I love the label, by the way, I had never noticed that it's supposed to be like notebook paper on the front. That's something that I totally missed looking at all the pictures online until I you know, actually got the tub in my hands. Um, in terms of the scent on this, it is, yeah, it, it smells like a fruit treat from my childhood, let's say. So like Gushers or fruit roll-ups or something like that, uh, which is not meant to be a diss on the soap. Uh, it's a very fond kind of scent memory and uh, it's not too sweet or anything like that, it, but it's very pronounced citrus, very pronounced fruit in here. Um, I did split this tub with a buddy, so that's why it's not all the way up to the top. This is my half of the tub. And uh, it's been super easy to work with this week, which I really, really appreciated. Um, this is their newest, I don't think it's that new, but their most recent version of their tallow base, which has tallow, coconut milk, shea butter, sunflower oil, coconut butter, castor oil, jojoba, lanolin, uh, things like that. So uh, a nice tallow formula. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, really nice to use. And again, it, it's uh, 
provoke some nice uh, memories from when I was a little kid. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get my face wet and start loading the soap and get into the, to the lathering process. So I'll bring you back in in just a sec. All right, we're back after loading up the tub for quite a bit there. Um, I found what I like to do with this brush and the soap. Start with a pretty damp brush and then just load off the tub um, for quite a while until I start to feel like uh, it's, you know, kind of proto-lathered up like this inside the tub. And I also feel like there's enough on the brush itself. Um, I haven't overloaded this week so far. Um, it's just been really easy to work with and let's see how it uh, treats us now. Yeah, and see this right here, I mean, it's already very, very close to um, being where I'm gonna need it, which is just great. Um, I love soaps that are that easy to work with. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep working it, probably add a touch of water here or there, and um, see you in a sec. All right, and so this right here is how lathering up has felt all week. Um, just basically start with a wet brush, load enough, and then when I actually start to work it on the face, it's more about just getting the water and the soap mixed. Hasn't been a chore at all to build up into this very kind of, uh, it's got a lot of sheen to it, and uh, it's just been fantastic. So um, let's go with the Blackbird now. I've got two days growth as usual. So as I said in the intro, this razor has definitely lived up to the hype, to my expectations as being a very efficient razor. Um, perhaps one of the most efficient razors I've ever used. Perhaps some of the more aggressive gems are kind of um, equally efficient, but my point is although this razor is efficient, I don't know if I would necessarily call it aggressive in the in the traditional sense, because for I don't know fifty percent fifty to sixty percent of the strokes that I make on my face with this razor feel absolutely fine. I mean, the razor doesn't feel mild but it doesn't feel out of control or like a bunch of blade feel or anything like that. So though, I'll, so although I would call it one of the most efficient razors I've ever used, maybe not the most aggressive feeling. However, on those other 50 to 40% of the strokes, it just feels uncomfortable. It feels a little bit like the blade is not in control. Um, I want to be clear, that doesn't feel like that all the time. But in those uncomfortable spots, I would, my educated guess, I 
my educated guess would be that it's because of the blade. Um, let me rinse this real quick and I'll show you what I mean. So let's look at, uh, well, this side here. I'm gonna do my best. So the blade is extremely well uh, supported from the top here. It's got a curve to it. However, there is a little bit of a gap, right, between the edge of the blade and the safety bar, which is fine. You know, you would expect that from an efficient razor like this. But to me, and some of my uh, colleagues have said this in the past, it feels like that's where the, the uncomfort the uncomfort level comes from, is from the fact that the blade is not terribly well supported from the bottom. So uh, let me rinse and I'll keep talking to you uh, over pass number two here, be right back. All right, before I load up for pass number two here, because I put so much water into this, the lather just has been rolling down this handle this week. And if you try and hold this with, uh, I mean, at least with my size hands, if you try and hold this normally, it's gonna fall out of your hands. So what I do, I've been kind of grabbing it with my palm and kind of, Three, three fingers around it to try and keep it uh, tamed, as it were. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's a very pretty brush, um, but you gotta be careful if it's uh, gonna be slippery because it can fall out and end up on the bathroom counter. Um, so I'm gonna keep working this in, be right back. Okay, so we're back for pass number two, cross and against. Um, so I shaved Monday through Friday with this razor, took off uh, Saturday, and then now I'm shaving with it today. And There was never a point to where I wanted or needed to do a third pass. Um, I never wanted to <laughs> because the razor, as I said, was kind of inconsistently uncomfortable for me, but Never exactly needed to either, because the razor is just so efficient. Um, forgot to mention, I'm, I'm using a Paul Silver Super Radium, which is one of my favorite blades. I used to use that exclusively, and um, And people started sending me blades, different brands, and you know, you just start to change it up every week. Um, but my point is the blade feels great actually. Um, so I can rule out that variable as being a reason as to why the razor is a little uncomfortable for me. Um, However, that does not mean that this razor would not work for you. That's gonna sort of be my closing point. Is that I really wish I liked this razor more. Um, love the design of it, again. I didn't really know what an attractive razor, sorry, an attractive modern razor was to me. 
I knew what an ugly modern razor was, because I can tell you which ones I think are ugly. But this one really checks all the boxes for me in terms of the looks. And, you know, I think the company is great. They're based in California, but they do some of the assembly. I believe actually right here in Illinois, um, which is cool. And yeah, I think they're something that um, one of my buddies mentioned the other day. That this razor has been out since 2015, 2016. And new people like myself are still checking it out. And it is still being, you know, recommended for people to try out because people still love it, you know. Um, that's a long time by modern wet shaving gear standards, you know. Unfortunately, a lot of us, we use one soap for a week and then we go on to the next one and we don't see that soap again for months. Um, and to say that, you know, this razor has been relevant for four or five years, I think that's really saying something. Um, so after those touch-ups, I'm good to go. Um, I didn't nick myself today. <laughs> I had a couple of random nicks during the week just because, again, I didn't feel like it was happening in a consistent way. Maybe a touch of irritation right here, but that, that happens with other razors too sometimes, so I don't want to blame it on it. So yeah, I mean, my shape today was actually pretty good. Uh, maybe I was being more cautious because I was on camera or something, but this I'd say wasn't a this was an above average shave for me this week using this razor. Um, maybe not an above average shave in the grand scheme of things in terms of comfort, but yeah, I mean it does work for some people. So I don't want to say it's a flawed razor or anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna do my final rinse and come back and talk to you over post shave. For post shave today, after shave tester. So, uh, buddy of mine is uh, working on some aftershaves and he sent me this to try out and I gotta be super secret about it. So I thought it'd be kind of an interesting premise for me to use this tester that like no one will know what I'm talking about. But um, some properties of this splash are that it's pretty high in alcohol content. Um, it's closer to Aqua Velva than Barrister Man Reserve in terms of number in, number of ingredients, which is to say that there aren't too many ingredients in here. But despite the high alcohol, despite the um, few ingredients, for, you know, relatively speaking, uh, this splash has worked great for me. Um, there are some oils in here that I know uh, this person added which um, I think the oils really kind of help compensate for the alcohol and the simple formula, those sorts of things. Um, the scent, sort of a nice take on Barbershop. Um, very sweet version of it, and uh, it's been very pleasant. So I hope to pick up a full-size bottle of that uh, particular aftershave if it ever uh, makes it to market. So there's my two cents about this super secret aftershave tester. All right, well, let's do a final rundown here talking about the product. So the Blackbird, uh, not not for me, which is a shame because it's a really stunning razor, well machined, and I think Blackland Razors is a great company. Um, so I hope uh, that you will have a chance to try this out at some point and uh, let me know if you've used this razor What are your thoughts on it? Um, again, it, it is kind of an older razor older modern razor So maybe lots of you have used it that have been in the hobby longer than I have um, For our soap summer break soaps bell ringer. This has been terrific um, super easy to work up no issues whatsoever. There were a couple days where you even started with too much water in the brush, but the soap base had no problem uh, dealing with it. And uh, yeah, happy to support another person in education like that. Uh, and finally, the Dogwood Handcrafts Maggard SHD. If I were to complain about this brush, it would be that the 
brush is too jelly, maybe. Um, which for some of you, I know that seems like impossible. How could a brush be too jelly? Um, but for me, gel is not the most important characteristic in a brush. Um, so it sometimes teeters on the line of feeling a bit too jelly. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you all if you made it this far. Um, next week, I'm gonna start on some slant razors that an esteemed member of the community sent my way to try out and I'm looking forward to that. And beyond that, I think I have another secret aftershave tester from another person. Um, but beyond that, we'll see what happens. So uh, be on the lookout next week for some slants and um, hope you all had a great weekend. Thank you all for watching. If you have anything to say, feel free to reach out. Would uh, love to talk to you. So this has been HG Shaves. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.